Hey, I want to do a quick video to talk about the Tesla dual motor cars front vibration problems. And it seems from my research that, um, that this affects both Model S and Model X. Who have, Anybody who has the front drive system in addition to the rear drive, the all-wheel drive with the second motor up front. My car has developed a problem, which I made a video of earlier, and I'm following up on that. And the more I dive into this, the more I'm not real happy about it. This guy says he got his problem fixed, but if you scroll down, you realize that people are complaining that they've taken their car in, that there's they think there's updated parts, they're not sure if there's updated parts, that there's no fix to it. People have gotten parts replaced two and three times. Um, you know, that people have tweeted Elon, all this stuff. And apparently this is an engineering issue. That's what I'm finding out. Apparently, of course, as I mentioned in my last video, it depends on the suspension setting. The higher the suspension setting, the more likely the vibration. The lower the suspension setting, the less noticeable the vibration, but it's still there, even on the lowest setting. So um, what happens is, I guess, the suspension goes up and down, and it stresses it at the upper level. And of course, this is just the front at vibration, so it's probably the axles and the mounts or the motor, some combination of that. Of course, the axles need to turn the front wheels in the front, so they need to really be able to move a lot. The rears don't have to do anything like that, and I've never heard of a rear problem, only a front. So I'm guessing it's probably an axle or somehow related to that problem. And, you know, we're going to see. I'm, I'm really kind of wondering about this because I, I want to get mine fixed. I don't want to find out that there's, you know, it just keeps happening over and over again, which some people are saying. Maybe I should just wait till Tesla, you know, has, has a fix. I don't know, but I do know that I don't want to find out that it, my car's out of warranty all of a sudden, and, and it's not going to be. It's going to be you know me paying for it, because this does seem to be an epidemic, chronic problem with the dual motor cars, and this could really affect Tesla. I, I though, comment on here if you if you know what I'm talking about, if you know of a real fix, because all this stuff, everybody seems really smart. They've they've investigated things, and it doesn't seem to be a real fix. So. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm guessing eventually they'll be able to have a fix. And what is it, just low-quality parts they're using? Is that it? Because if that's it, then that's a simple fix. But if there's maybe it's, maybe there's no fix for it. That's a bigger concern. Well, here's an email that I wrote to, um, to Tesla. It says, good afternoon. I wrote this today. I'm writing concerning a front dry line vibration issue that happens under hard acceleration in my Model X. Typically, the higher suspension setting, the higher the intensity of the vibration and the lower the suspension setting, the lower the intensity of the vibration. And I know some of these things have said Tesla service centers have told people don't accelerate that hard, which is kind of crazy, but it should be fine accelerating that hard. Uh, in researching this issue online, it appears to be a chronic problem with both X and S dual motor vehicles. In researching the issue, I've also seen things that seem to indicate this is an engineering issue and a permanent fix may not yet have been developed so can you please let me know if a permanent engineering fix exists for this issue so i'll let you know what they say comment below if you have some experiences i'd love to hear from you thanks